Am I the asshole? For firing the babysitter because she brought her dog to my house. This happened this past weekend. My M33 wife F33 and I have a six month old kid. My wife and I planned a date night and we hired our babysitter we've used half a dozen times. The babysitter F20 is a college student that lived in our neighborhood and came recommended by some friends that had kids. She came over to our house, we told her our son's schedule, then headed out. We were going to go out for dinner and then meet up with friends for drinks. We have two cameras in our house that we can access remotely to check in on our son. One is over his bed and the other is over his play area in the living room. The babysitter knows about both cameras, so it isn't like we were spying on her. My wife gets a notification that there is motion in the play area, she pulls it up to check in. She sees a dog sniffing our son. We are both like WTF. We don't own any dogs and have no plans to ever own any dogs. We try calling, no answer, so we rush home. We go inside and the babysitter is holding our son and there is a golden retriever just hanging out. Everyone is calm and fine. The babysitter seems shocked we are already home. I ask the babysitter why there is a dog in our house. She says it's a golden retriever and decided to bring it today. The babysitter assures us the dog is baby and kid friendly and is sweet and safe. I don't want my son around dogs at such a young age even if they are sweet and safe. I'm getting more and more angry. This was not something she was transparent about and if we knew the dog was going to be there, I would have never okayed it. I just firmly tell her to grab her dog and please leave. I inform her we won't be using her in the future and pay her half her rate we had agreed upon, mostly since we used her less than half the time we were going to be out. She asks for the full amount. I told her no, you put my kid in danger, and you should leave. She says she did nothing wrong, but I don't see it that way. So was I the asshole? Not the asshole. The fact that you didn't see the dog when she arrived, tells me she knew this was wrong and therefore kept him out of sight. Intentional or not, you don't take pets along without clearing it with the parents. Not the asshole, if she thought it was no big deal then why didn't you see the dog arrive when she did before you left? Not the asshole. I don't know who in their right mind would bring an animal into a person's home without checking with them. Absolutely not the asshole. This was extremely unprofessional. You don't bring a dog over to somebody's home without permission, much less expose their six-month-old baby to a dog without permission. This sitter is not safe and you were right to fire them. Not the asshole. Of course you're not the asshole. Who brings an animal into someone else's home without asking? What if you'd had horrific allergies? But also it was just incredibly unprofessional. Again, who brings an animal into someone else's home without even asking permission? But I'm terribly curious, how did you not see the dog when she arrived? Not the asshole. I used to be a dog trainer and specialized in dog-child interactions. There is absolutely no way in hell I would be comfortable with a strange dog in my home, with a person who has no formal training in dog-child interactions. That is how children get hurt. I have also seen many people swear their dog is kid-friendly, when it is obvious to my eye the dog is not. I do not trust people who aren't trained in canine body language and behavior. Not the asshole any of you could be allergic, I don't trust friendly dogs unless I have been around them myself because everyone thinks their dog is nice even if they are not. Geez the pandemic really stunted her common sense development. Not the asshole, you don't bring an animal to someone else's house without clearing it first. There are people who have serious allergies to certain pets, and babies can be exceptionally sensitive to that sort of thing. It is up to the parents to decide when and how they will introduce animals to their baby's space. Not the asshole. Maybe one of you had a dog allergy. Maybe your baby did. Maybe this is the one time her dog did something aggressive. Regardless, she absolutely should have cleared it with you in advance so you could have weighed the risks and made an informed decision. Paying her for half the time when she didn't even work that much was generous of you. 
Not the asshole I don't have a kid but I would be really upset if someone brought a dog into my house without asking. I love dogs but don't really want them all over my stuff because I'm allergic and not everyone's dog is very clean sorry dog lovers, some dogs smell. It's that simple. You don't bring your pet to someone else's home without asking. Not the asshole. She's old enough to know that what she did is extremely unprofessional. That's like bringing your kid to work with you or inviting friends over while she babysits. Not the asshole. I love dogs, but would never dream of bringing a dog to someone's home without their permission. Info it sounds like she didn't have the dog with when she arrived. How did the dog get there after you left? Absolutely not the asshole. You aren't being unreasonable here. She was there for half the time she should have been and put your child in unnecessary risk because the dog is an animal, its reaction to a person it's never met can never be predicted. The fact you're paying her at all is in my opinion pretty generous, and that was the only way you could have even be considered T.A. Beyond all the ethical and safety issues of bringing a dog around someone else's young child, golden retrievers shed like crazy. People your dogs make a huge mess simply by existing not the asshole. Not the asshole. Curious where the dog was when she arrived, did she hide it outside or in her car? Did she leave your kid to go get it? Did she take your kid somewhere to get it without your knowledge or permission? If she thought the dog was NBD, she would have had it with her when she arrived openly she knew she was being sneaky. And yes most goldens are friendly doesn't mean that particular one is or that it could hurt the baby by accident laying its head on the baby on the floor unsupervised could asphyxiate the baby just from the weight, for example. Not the asshole a college age student should know for her to ask for full amount just confirms you did the best thing. Not the asshole. I love dogs, goldens are my favorite, but not everyone does. They shouldn't be in your home without permission, kid aside. And the baby even more so. You're the parents and the homeowners. Not the asshole there have been several fatalities caused by dog attacks on the humans in UK in recent years. It's always but he's so safe and friendly er no plus no dog should ever be left unattended with a child as they are animals. You saw the dog alone with your baby. She had no right to bring it and put your baby at risk. Not the asshole. Bringing any other creature, human or otherwise, without your consent, was not okay. Not the asshole. It is absolutely not an appropriate assumption that it is okay to bring a dog into anyone's house without permission. To do so while babysitting an infant is an asshole ish presumption. Even worse, the babysitter snuck in the dog because the dog did not arrive at the house at the time she did. It's not like that was unintentional and this is horrifying behavior. Easy not the asshole. Sneaking, since the dog arrived after you left, the dog into your house without your permission shows her lack of good judgment and negates her insistence that the dog would not harm your child. And it's irrelevant. You don't bring a dog into someone's house without their permission, whether it's a babysitter or a family member or whoever. Not the asshole. She must know what she's doing is wrong otherwise you would have seen the dog when she arrived. 